Aloha everybody. It's been a little while since I've been on here and I'm going to try to start making more videos. So I always say, right? I never know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do three seconds from now. Hopefully still making this video. But I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about what I've been thinking about as I've gone throughout my day, actually. Um, this idea of, of healing. And we have... When I say we, I'm always meaning me, but I do see it in the collective. I do see it a lot in social media about healing our wounds. You know, we have like the mother wound and the father wound and there's all this unprocessed trauma and there's so much healing to do. And yes, we do. I mean, as individuals and as a collective, we do have a lot of healing to do. But there's also, I think, there can be a focus too much on that. I mean, we go to healers, healing so much, you know, we, we like healing these traumas, healing these fears that we have, healing these um, wounds that we have. And everybody has, are, and people are drawn in their own ways of processing these traumas. And yes, there is a lot going on in the world. I'm not invalidating any of this or that people individually have a, are having a hard time and there's stuff coming up emotions and thoughts and uh, memories and it can be a hell of a lot to to process but I was thinking today it was it was almost like how much of this do we need to actually do and are we doing it in such a way where we're focusing on just our healing or bringing more you know um, wholeness into our lives as opposed to focusing more so on our passion or our our desire meaning desire meaning what we feel drawn to but coming back to this idea really that um, not deferring from the, the fact that we have unprocessed trauma or we have wounds that need to be healing but more so looking at you know what is this moment offering for me what can I be grateful for in this moment? What is being drawn up within me to take action towards something that feels good in this moment? And I was thinking about this because I was actually, I was at a medical facility where, where my mom is staying right now. And I was seeing and hearing moans and hearing people and, and um, seeing people in pain and the, the question just kind of came up like I thought about these people and what were what were the joyful moments in these people's lives that you know really stuck with them or what are the things that really brought them passion and I started to think more so about like what if we decide instead just like as an experiment like this moment right now not only can we be grateful for but what is it that it's almost like closing our eyes and like feeling into what is the next step the happiest moment and we've heard this before like just follow your excitement yes but it's like what is it, what can i do right now to put a smile on my face maybe put a smile on somebody else's face but it's like start with yourself what can i do right now that would put a smile on my face that would make me happy, that would start drawing me in the direction of that, of more happiness. And this isn't bypassing your pain or again, invalidating any of that. It's more so it's like, how much more focus do we wanna have? Do we wanna have more focus on the healing or do we wanna have more focus on our joys and our passion? And even if we follow our joys and our passion, there's still going to be bumps in the road. None of it's good or bad, but there's still going to be bumps in the road, emotionally, mentally, physically, with other people, all of that. And it's almost like making a decision. And I say that for myself too. Making a decision to start being creative because I know I'm a very creative person and there's, I have a lot of ideas and there's a lot that wants to come out and be expressed and shared with the world. And um, so... For me, it's like it almost clicked today, you know, when I was at the facility and then as I was driving around, and when I went to the gym, it was like, 
okay, this idea of excitement, of doing what I really enjoy doing, of, of, of following that passion. And it doesn't have to be some big thing. It could be just, you know, making a meal or, you know, doing crunches or <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't have to be anything big, but it's like, what is that one little thing right now happening in this moment? Or what is that one thing right now that I'm, I'm drawn to do? And then just kind of following that. And then I started to think about this idea of this energy of excitement. And it's such a powerful energy. I mean, you hear about following your excitement, following your passion, but it's it's such a simple and I'm going to say simple and easy, but, but it has taken me a while to be able to on the spot click into it um, energy to be able to tap into. And you can do this through a memory. You know, as a child, you might have had a really exciting time and you remember, you know, going on water slides or, or you know, playing race cars with, with your friends on the, on the big wheel or, you know, playing war in the woods or whatever it was. Um, for me, I had this moment <laughs> when I was in L.A. and I was on set on a commercial. I was, I was a principal actor in the commercial. And I was like, I remember before I actually went, went there that I was feeling like all of this excitement, like just bubbling up inside me. Like I was, there was gratefulness and gratitude and I felt so good and so happy before I went there. And what happened from that place? Like I wasn't expecting anything. I was just going to say my lines and, and try to have fun. Right. But what began to happen was it was like magical. Um, like I began to see that everything around me was lining up like, um, you know, the boom operator, the, the, the camera guy, the, the DP, the, the director, and, and then the other actors that I was working with. And it was lining up in the senses like the universe was like flowing through this whole event and supporting everybody. Which happens all the time, by the way. We just don't necessarily see that. And I remember, like, saying my lines, and then, like, the tears were flowing, and it was funny, too. It was, it was a comedy. And I remember um, not having to think about anything. It was almost like that space they say that athletes get in. They get into the zone, right? It was like that space. And that's where I was. I was watching. I was an active participant and yet I was watching the scene um, unfold in front of me of how this commercial was being shot and the locations that we went to and it was it, it was magical because I wasn't thinking I was allowing God the universe my excitement that I was already feeling that day to just kind of flow through me and not that that's how necessarily things have to happen but I think about that moment like that's how I tap into that moment like it takes me about five seconds maybe I'll close my eyes and I think about that that day um, that memorable day and I can instantly get into that feeling and then I just stay with that feeling and so you can use that with any part of your life really you know, before your day, if you're unclear about something, it's almost like the energy of excitement. What it does is it makes you clear um, and clear in the sense of your mental fa facilities, but also your connection with inspiration and with the divine. So I just want you to experiment with that. And I'm not, again, it's like, yes, we have trauma. We have healing. There's a lot to do. But when we focus more so on those passions and that excitement and those moment-to-moment -moment, um, glimmers, you could say, of life, then the other part, they will come in when they need to and they will be part of that flow um, of excitement. So I'm not saying that one is better than the other, but it's almost like they begin to blend where there is gratitude for every part of your life. And that might not totally make sense to everybody. Again, I'm speaking from my experience, but um, it's something worth considering. And I just wanted to share that with everybody. And I hope everybody's having a beautiful day. Um, I am so blessed 
to be where I am right now, and I wish everyone the best. Aloha. Bye for now. Thank you.